Will the House come to order? Mr. Clerk? Aloha and good afternoon. Today's invocation will be delivered by Representative Sonny Ganadin. Will the members who wish to participate please rise? Please stay seated. Uh, aloha, everybody. Happy Aloha Friday. Um, I was thinking, what should I say this year? It's my only invocation for the year. Uh, my staffs and some friends said, maybe I should just rap to everybody. Uh -huh, I won't do that. Instead, uh, I'd like to thank you all for allowing me to organize the 15th annual Art at the Capitol event. Particular thanks to my staff, Kelly, Kim, and Lily, the Sergeant in Arms for both the House and the Senate, the sheriffs here to keep us safe, uh, and all of you for participating. We had record attendance last year, and this year we have more offices participating than ever before, uh, including the full fifth floor, so the governor and the lieutenant governor's office are going to be open. Uh, I have tried to maintain the tradition uh, set by retired Senator Taniguchi of keeping this apolitical. So despite this being the home of politics, we're here to celebrate the arts and celebrate artists in our communities. Uh, this year's theme is Alan Poe. Uh, so day and night, it's gonna go from four to 7 p.m. We have over 100 performers coming. Uh, so we have an invocation by Poet Laureate Brandy Nalani McDougall, the Hawaii Youth Symphony featuring students from Castle, Kalani, McKinley, and Punahou schools. Uh, my friends from the Hawaii International Film Festival will be showing some short films if you don't want to talk to anybody uh, in the Senate Gallery. Here in the House Gallery, the Hawaii Triennial will be showing a preview of their forthcoming international exhibit. Uh, it's going to be titled Aloha No. The Hawaii Chess Federation will be in the rotunda uh, right outside. Um, Representative Jackson's uh, mom, Yumiko Sayama, is a cultural practitioner. She will be uh, guiding folks through a ritual, philosophy, and aesthetics of Chado, a tea ceremony. Uh, the Honolulu Theater for Youth will be doing a new interactive augmented reality performance at the Queen Statue. Ballet Hawaii will be performing at the Rotunda from 5.30 to 6 p.m. We will uh, be hearing from esteemed musicians Steve Ma'i and Stephen Brown in Mele Hawaii from 6 to 7 p.m. Uh, also during that time, we'll be hearing from uh, Dr. Sun Hui, an Erhu player, uh, in the Lieutenant Governor's office. We also have Solomon Enos. He is the recently commissioned artist that will be designing and building the uh, replacement for the pools that are right over our heads. Uh, so if you have questions about that, you can ask him in person. Um, we're going to be hearing about this summer's Festival of the Pacific, which Representative Onishi has worked so hard to secure and help organize. Um, the art on the walls connects us to the past. Many of the works housed here are priceless and date to the territorial era. The artwork itself was made by artists whose families are active in our communities and are quite proud to have a physical, tangible connection to this place. Many artists would rather their work be in a sometimes hectic uh, and vibrant place than a museum. And it's true, I got more fans than the average man, but not enough loot to last me to the end of the week. I live by the week because we live check to check. You move your feet so we don't eat because we like neck to neck. Thank you so much for allowing me to organize the 15th Annual Art at the Capitol, 4 p.m. right here. Mahalo. Happy Aloha Friday. Thank you, Representative Ganadin. We are on item one, roll call. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Mr. Ayu. Mr. Alcos. Ms. Amato. Ms. Bellotti, Mr. Chun, yes. Ms. Cochran, excuse, Mr. Evslin, excuse, Mr. Ganadin, Mr. Garcia, Mr. Garrett, Mr. Gates, Mr. Hashem, Mr. Holt, excuse, Ms. Hussey Burdick, Ms. Ichiyama, Ms. Kahaloa, Ms. Capella, Mr. Kila, Ms. Kitagawa, Mr. Kobayashi, Mr. Kong, Ms. Lachika, Ms. Lamosal, Ms. Lowen, Ms. Martin, Ms. Martinez, Mr. Matayoshi, Ms. Matsumoto, Mr. Miyake, Ms. Mizuno, Ms. Morikawa, Ms. Nakamura, Mr. Nakashima, Mr. Nishimoto, Mr. Onishi, Ms. Peruso, Mr. Pirik, Ms. Poepoe, 
Mr. Quinlan? Mr. Psyche? Mr. Sayama? Ms. Souza? Mr. Takeyama? Ms. Takeno Uchi? Mr. Tam? Mr. Tarnas? Mr. Todd? Mr. Ward? Mr. Woodson? Excuse. Mr. Yamashita? Mr. Speaker. Present. Mr. Speaker, 47 members are present. Four are excused. Thank you. Item two, reading of the journal. Represent Malkawa. Mr. Speaker, may this matter be deferred. Item so ordered. Item three, Mr. Clerk, are there any messages from the governor? Yes, Mr. Speaker, we are in receipt of governor's message number 1103, informing the House that the noted Senate bill was signed into law on April 11, 2024, and designated as Act 3. May this matter be received and filed. So ordered. Item 4, Mr. Clerk, are there any Senate communications? Yes, Mr. Speaker, if you and the members will turn your attention to the addendum to today's order of the day, we are in receipt of communications informing the House that the Senate has disagreed to the amendments proposed by the House to the noted Senate bills. We are in further receipt of a communication informing the House that the Senate has appointed conferees to the noted House bills. Representative Tam, start us off on our introductions. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In the gallery today, we have students from Iolani School. So when I read your names, please um, stand up and be recognized. Um, Miley Cox, Haile uh, Gu, Landon Hirata, Hoku Hulihe, Ko Ide, um, Ashton Kim, Paula Kong Mercado, Logan Lee, Carter Matsuwaki, Gervais No, uh, Nicholas Peterson, Luke Tobin, Sophia Victorino, Yvonne Chan, and Candice Sakuda. Welcome to your House of Representatives. Representative Martin. Aloha. This morning, I'd like to welcome and introduce the um, second and third graders from Lejeune Academy and their teachers who came today to um, watch the bill signing for the Kahuli Snail. They have diligently been testifying and have convinced this body with their beautiful testimony to pass that bill. And I'd like all of you folks, please stand and be recognized. Welcome to your House of Representatives. Please stand up. Everybody stand up. All right, members. Representative Ayu. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, I know his name was already called out, but I'd like to make another uh, introduction. One of the players I coach in volleyball, uh, Landon Harata, is here in the gallery today. Landon, can you stand for us one more time? Can I embarrass him one more time? Um, he actually has his senior match tonight uh, for volleyball. Um, Iolani's playing my alma mater, Kamehameha, so um, we wish you good luck, Landon, tonight in your guys' game. Representative Martin. Um, I forgot to ask to have their names entered into the journal. Ordered. Thank you. All right, members, with no further introductions, let's move on to item five, unfinished business. Members, please note that per committee referral sheet number 30, House Resolution 18, HD1, has been re-referred solely to the Committee on Corrections, Military, and Veterans. The Committee on Finance waived its referral to this measure, and therefore it's appropriate for the House to consider action for adoption. We will be taking up three motions. Representative Nakamura. Mr. Speaker, I move to suspend the rules of the House to reconsider action previously taken on House Resolution Number 18, HD1. Representative Marakawa. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Any questions? All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say no. The motion is carried. Representative Nakamura. Mr. Speaker, I move to reconsider action taken pursuant to the recommendation contained in Standing Committee Report Number 1378-24, recommending referral to the Committee on Finance. Representative Morikawa. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say no. The motion is carried. Representative Nakamura. Mr. Speaker, I move that House Resolution Number 18, HD1, as listed on page one, be adopted. Representative Morikawa. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Any discussion on um, HCR Number 18, HD1? 
All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say no. The motion is carried. Item six, reports of standing committees. Representative Nakamura. Mr. Speaker, I move to adopt standing committee report numbers 1851-24 through 1858-24 as listed on pages two through four and that the accompanying Senate concurrent resolutions as may be amended be referred to their designated committees. Representative Marakawa. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Any discussion on SANCOM report 1851-24? 1852, Representative Garcia. With reservations. So ordered. 1853, next page. 1854, 1855, 1856, 1857, next page. 1858. Members will be taking a voice vote. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say no. The motion is carried. Representative Nakamura. Mr. Speaker, I move to adopt standing committee report number 1859-24 as listed on page four and that the accompanying Senate concurrent resolution as amended be adopted. Representative Marakawa. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Any discussion on standcom report 1859-24? All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say no. The motion is carried. We are on item seven, announcements. Representative Kong. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Next week, Monday, April 15th, is Purple Up Day. So it's in recognition of the dependence of the military members and their sacrifices. Thank you very much. So. Please wear purple. Thank you. Representative Takeyama. Yeah, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank the many, many members and their staff who have donated generously to the uh, Dress for Success um, uh, collection in my office. And although today is the last official posted day for collecting uh, gently used women's clothing, um, if you have anything over the weekend that you discover in your closet you'd like to donate, um, we will still be accepting donations on Monday. Thank you very much. Representative Nishi. Thank you, Speaker. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, today at 1 o'clock, we will be presenting a joint certificate to Admiral Aquilino in room 423. And uh, second announcement, uh, at the appropriate time, can we have a moment of silence for former state representative and state senator, Wayne Metcalf, who passed away this past weekend? Yes, we will do a moment of silence after we adjourn. Thank you, Speaker. Any further announcements? No further announcements, Representative Morikawa. Actually, hold on. I have one more announcement before Representative Morikawa closes us out. The chair would like to remind committee chairs that today is the lateral filing deadline for Senate concurrent resolutions that need to move to their final committees. Please file your committee reports and drafts with the chief clerk's office by 6 p.m. this evening. Again, that's 6 p.m. this evening. Representative Morikawa. Mr. Speaker, I move that this house stand adjourned until 11.30 a.m. Monday. Representative Garcia. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say no. The motion is carried. The House stands adjourned until 11.30 a.m. Monday.